Very good morning to you this morning. We are going to stand together to sing our first hymn, Breathe on Me, Breath. Please do stand.
Pentecost reading is from the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 2, verses 1 to 30. When the day of Pentecost had come, they were all together in one place. And suddenly from heaven there came a sound like the rush of a violent wind, and it filled the entire house where they were sitting. Divided tongues as a fire appeared among them, and a tongue rested on each of them. All of them were filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in other languages as the Spirit gave them ability. Now there were devout Jews from every nation under heaven living in Jerusalem. And at this sound, the crowd gathered and was bewildered because each one heard them speaking in the native language of each. Amazed and astonished, they asked, are not all these who are speaking Galileans? And how is it that we hear each of us in our own native language? Parthians, Medes, Elamites, and residents of Mesopotamia, Judea and Cappadocia, Pontus and Asia, Phrygia and Pamphylia, Judea and Cappadocia. And visitors from Rome, both Jews and proselytes, Cretans and Arabs, in our own language we hear them speaking about God's deeds of power. All were amazed and perplexed, saying to one another, What does this mean? But others sneered and said, They are filled with new wine. The Lord is here. His Spirit is with us. to our time of confession as we bring before God those things that we wish to say sorry for. What God has prepared for those who love him, he has revealed to us through the Spirit. For the Spirit searches everything. Therefore let us in penitence open our hearts to the Lord who has prepared good things for those who love him. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned against you and against our neighbour in thought and word and deed, through negligence, through weakness, through our own deliberate fault. We are truly sorry and repent of all our sins. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, who died for us, forgive us all that is past, and grant that we may serve you in newness of life, to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy upon you. Pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness and keep you in life eternal. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Our collect for this day of Pentecost. Let us pray that the Spirit will work through our lives to bring Christ to the world. Holy Spirit, sent by the Father, ignite in us your holy fire. Strengthen your children with the gift of faith. Revive your church with the breath of love and renew the face of the earth. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 
the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. When the Advocate comes, whom I will send to you from the Father, the Spirit of Truth, who comes from the Father, he will testify on my behalf. You also are to testify, because you have been with me from the beginning. I did not say these things to you from the beginning, because I was with you. But now I am going to him who sent me. Yet none of you asks me, where are you going? But because I have said these things to you, sorrow has filled your hearts. Nevertheless, I tell you the truth. It is to your advantage that I go away. For if I do not go away, the Advocate will not come to you. But if I go, I will send him to you. And when he comes, he will prove the world wrong about sin and righteousness and judgment about sin because they do not believe in me about righteousness, because I am going to the Father, and you will see me no longer. About judgment, because the ruler of this world has been condemned. I still have many things to say to you, but you cannot bear them now. When the Spirit of truth comes, he will guide you into all the truth for he will not speak on his own, but will speak whatever he hears, and he will declare to you the things that are to come. He will glorify me, because he will take what is mine and declare it to you. All that the Father has is mine. For this reason I said that he will take what is mine and declare it to you. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. Please do be seated. We pray. <coughs> On this day of Pentecost, we pray. Holy Spirit, come as the wind to refresh and uplift us. Come as love and revive your church that we may reach out to others through your grace. Amen. <clears throat> we pray for the church of all who minister to us. Empower them by your spirit to fulfill their calling. We pray especially for Heather that her health and strength will be completely restored. We ask for all who will be coming into the church or all for the Watercrest Festival today, that they all may experience your love in those they meet. Lord, in your mercy. Yeah. Amen. <clears throat> continue to pray for peace in the world. Bless all peacemakers and humanitarian workers. Lord, in your mercy. Amen. Amen. We pray for those who are in hospital, for Audrey Slater and Marion Stanford, and all those receiving ongoing treatment. And in a time of silence, we briefly pray for those we know in any kind of need. Lord, in your mercy, <laughs> remember those who have died recently, Dr. Michael Clark, Thelma Wheel, Martin Abbott, Barry Hack, and all those who mourn their loss. May we, in the power of your Spirit, live and work for your glory. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the, the sake, sake of your Son, our, our Saviour, Saviour Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Amen. Amen.
Yes, would you stand and we will share the peace together. God has made us one in Christ. He has set his seal upon us as a pledge of what is to come, has given the spirit to dwell in our hearts. Hallelujah. Peace of the Lord be always with you. And also, also with you. you. Let us offer one another a sign of peace. Peace be with you. Pour upon the poverty of our love and the weakness of our praise, the transforming fire of your presence. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is is right right to give thanks and praise. It is indeed right. It is our duty and our joy, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Holy Father, almighty and everlasting God, through Jesus Christ, your only Son, our Lord. This day we give you thanks because in fulfilment of your promise, you pour out your Spirit upon us, filling us with your gifts leading us into all truth and uniting peoples of many tongues in the confession of one faith. Your Spirit gives us grace to call you Father, to proclaim your gospel to all nations and to serve you as a royal priesthood. Therefore we join our voices with angels and archangels and with all those in whom the Spirit dwells, to proclaim the glory of your name, forever praising you and saying, Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. Accept our praises, Heavenly Father, through your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. And as we follow his example and 
and obey his command. Grant that by the power of your Holy Spirit, these gifts of bread and wine may be to us his body and his blood. Who in the same night that he was betrayed took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take, eat. This is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup and gave you thanks. He gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. Therefore, Heavenly Father, we remember his offering of himself made once for all upon the cross. We proclaim his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension. We look for the coming of your kingdom. With this bread and this cup, we make the memorial of Christ, your Son, our Lord. Great is the mystery of faith. Christ has died, Christ is risen, Christ will come again. Accept through him our great high priest, this our sacrifice of thanks and praise, as we eat and drink these holy gifts in the presence of your divine majesty. Renew us by your spirit, inspire us with your love, and unite us in the body of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him, and with him, and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, with all who stand before you in earth and heaven, we worship you, Father Almighty, in songs of everlasting praise. Blessing and honour and glory and power be yours for ever and ever. Amen. Being made by the power, being made one by the power of the Spirit, as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. We bring this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are one body, because we all share in one bread. Alleluia! Christ, our Passover, is sacrificed for us. Therefore, let us keep the feast. Alleluia!
Faithful God, who fulfilled the promises of Easter by sending us your Holy Spirit and opening in every race and nation the way of life eternal, open our lips by your Spirit that every tongue may tell of your glory. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Pray together. Almighty God, we thank you for feeding us with the body and blood of your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him we offer you our souls and bodies to be a living sacrifice. Send us out in the power of your Spirit to live and work to your praise and glory. Amen. Remember, we are going to sing our final hymn and we are going to have, going to commission us all to go out filled with the Holy Spirit. Um, but I'm going to ask you, if you play for a little bit more, and whilst I just tidy up the altar, could I ask you to get in a circle around the outside of the chairs, please, so that we're facing in. Um, it might be better if we use the front area of the church rather than the back. So those at the back there, come forward a little bit. Just so that we're in a circle and see one another, um, please, whilst I tidy up. It, it's not like musical chairs, <laughs> but there will be music playing. Thank you. <coughs> Those of us here will have to turn around to be able to see the, um, the words, but we're going to sing our final hymn now. If you uh, need to move in order to uh, see it, then move slightly. <laughs>
now come to the Commission. There is some response. The first response, if you can't see it um, on the screen, is by the, by the Spirit's power we will. Um, <clears throat> For 50 days, we have celebrated the victory of our Lord Jesus Christ over the powers of sin and death. We have proclaimed God's mighty acts, and we have prayed that the power that was at work when God raised Jesus from the dead might be at work in us. As part of God's church here in the Ar Valley, I call upon you to live out what you proclaim. Empowered by the Holy Spirit, will you dare to walk into God's future, trusting him to be your guide? By the Spirit's power, we will. All the answers now are we will. Will you dare to embrace each other and grow together in love. We, we will. will. Will you dare to share your riches in common and minister to each other in need? We, we will. will. Will you dare to pray for each other until your heart beats with the longings of God? We, we will. will. Will you dare to carry the light of Christ into the world's dark places? We, we will. will. Before I finish with our blessing, I'm going to say go out. Go out today to this wonderful Watercrest Festival and be disciples. Show hospitality and love to everybody. May they truly see the face of Jesus in you. But please come back <laughs> at 11.15. At 11.15 or thereabouts, the Bishop of Winchester will be here as we launch our new glossy brochure celebrating St John's Church, the churchyard and the town. And it is a lovely brochure. I encourage you all to buy at least one. Um, but please do come back at 11.15 here in the church. The Lord is here. His, His Spirit, Spirit is with us. us. Today we have remembered the coming of God's power on the disciples. And we invite that same power to drive us out into the wild places of the world. The wild places of Oldsford. <laughs> May the God of hope Fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you and all those that you love this day and always. Amen. Amen. Filled with the Spirit's power, go in the light and peace peace of Christ. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. We're going to process that way. You can return to your seats as we've uh, gone through. <coughs>